Daily Gang. Here we are. Daily Gang, what is going on? The real videographer who don't know what he's doing with this thing. Why is it not working, Duna? There we go, just point it down for a There we go. See so you guys, there we go. So, we're at the game. It is Tuesday night. I am teaching the guy how to be a proper videographer. Yeah. Um, what's the score tonight, Duna? I'm saying 1 0 last minute QPR. Here we go. That's what I'm saying. Don't know. And I'm going to introduce you all to. I don't know how to get. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. What is going We're here. We're back. Hey. Oh no, you've got it on face tracking. Ah, right, there you go. Right, we're back. Yeah. So. Here's Big D. This is yeah. Big Big D. Good afternoon, good evening. There's good Little night. D. Yes. Dad, Daddy Duna is in the house. Daddy yeah. Duna. Two yeah. one. Yeah, it's simple as that. Two <laughs> one. Wait, yeah. Listen, yeah, we, we didn't even ask him. Yeah. We wasn't yeah. even interested in what yeah. he had to say. Two one. He's giving two you one. a goal. He's giving you a goal. Okay, two one. Okay, now we're going around the room because there's other people here. We have. Is this is this is this, this middle size D? Oh, that's middle, middle D, yeah, middle, middle D. Is this middle D? I don't know. That's well, what we'd say. <laughs> I guess, well, no, because Liam's smallest. Okay, so Stephen would be middle. So what are you? You're, you're the middle, middle. Ooh. Double middle. Yeah. Double middle, double middle D. Double middle D. What's the score tonight? Hmm. What did you say? 4 0 West Brom. 2 1 QPR. Change his tune. Yeah. It was a West Brom fan earlier. Yeah. And then we have. There's Amy, yeah. and we have the beautiful Cruz. Oh, yeah, yeah. Amy, what's the score? Um, Liam. 3-1 to QPR. No. Oh. She was pressured. She was pressured, guys. And we have little, little D. What's the score going to be? Two. <laughs> Giving all that as well. And then we have the Wolves fan in the building. <laughs> Um, what's the score, Wolves fan? 3 0 West Brom. They had to grab the chair and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, guys, seriously, look at this grip. Look at the grip. Look at the grip. <laughs> Terrified. All his mates are going to see all these Wolves fans. All these, and they'll be like, what are you doing? Look how ready he's got. We can actually have a picture of him wrapped in an Albion plant. We do actually have a picture of him wrapped in an Albion. Wait till Nick is ever You've got to stay warm. He's got the Albion sign behind his head there. Look, yeah, Albion sign. And look out for a family photo. There you go. Family photo, all of them. And they make Oh, that's really nice. Here we go. 2 1 QPR. Let's have it. Come on, Come on you buggies! Come on, you buggies! <laughs> In the building with the two QPR. Oh, look at them. Oh, oh it's so sad. It's so, so sad. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, oh you're filming. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. we are six minutes away from the end. Sorry, yeah. four minutes actually. We're winning 2 0. You're down to 10 men. 2 0, what? Give us, um, give us an inspirational, motivational. Bolt Duna. Uh, or both Dunas. Listen guys, if you're 2-0 down... Fuck, <sighs> I've got nothing. Yeah, just um, poor performance. Um, the food was good, pints were nice. Uh, rubbish game. And it's a great game. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we lost fair and square. So there's nothing else to say. Okay, but, took you like a man. Yeah. You took you like a man. Comment? Now, what you got? To be fair, I did think that West Brom were going to win, didn't I? I said 2-1. So. Shut Cut the... Cut no, 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 no. I was being honest. I was being honest. I, I don't want... care. You're meant to die on the yeah, sword. Short. No, I, yeah. I, I, I knew <laughs> we were going to lose. It's I knew I was going to lose. Domestic. Domestic. <laughs> Brotherly domestic. I'm, I'm truthful with things. Phil. Phil, you're my real brother. <laughs> my real <laughs> brother. <laughs> so, we're ending the night on a victory for the Albion. Come on, you baggies. Hold on. And there's, there's, there's three minutes left. Oh, no, we've got the other oh, one in now. Yeah, oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> bro, 
right, we beat that bit out. But guys, uh, my voice is gone. It's been a great game. We have absolutely smashed them to bits. You basically. have not smashed them to smashed bits. Smashed them Stop to exaggerating. bits. Dave, Dave, you like, might as well say supporting West Brom. <laughs> Well, anyway. Smash them to bits and... Some nerves have been touched, Steve. Yeah, people are upset. Duna's upset. Duna's not going to hear the end of this at all for at least six months. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't understand. <laughs> 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 I'm not like Duna. I'm not like Duna. Look, this is Duna. Duna cam. I'm not like Phil because Phil doesn't have the gimbal like me. Never has the gimbal. Duna, seriously, like I've, I've, I've cut it back on. How are you? Now I'm gutted. I am. Dan, and as much as I say that, oh, take a part in that, I always say, I always say those kind of things, like, oh, take a part is like fun and all that, just to get at you, because I know how much you like yeah, winning. She does. But that is very twisted. I feel like gutted that. now, like I feel really. But Steve, twisted. how many games have we gone to? Have we ever won? Have we ever won to the <laughs> You stay out of it. Right? <laughs> Bobby Zamora, <laughs> top bits, last minute, yeah. But look at us now. Guys, it looks like it's over. There's, what are we on? I mean, look at Paul Liam. Look at Paul Liam, bless him. He's wrapped in an Albion top. Don't come at me. Look at Liam's wrapped in an Albion shirt. <laughs> That's a QPR fan sitting right there. That's so awesome. Oh, hang on, hang on. We're back. We're back. Well, he was going to flip the table, be careful. Your boy, <laughs> your boys. Um, he's saying he's never seen QPR win ever. You've never seen us win. What about the time when you were pushing yourself downstairs? <laughs> yeah? Right? How old was I? How old was I? We were three years old. We beat Forest 4 0 that day. Three years old. 1964. I'm missing the game here because of you guys. Hey, you're losing. Don't come for me. Oh, look, 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 He's a tie now, isn't he? Yeah. Sick and tired, this guy. Yeah. Also, Daily Gang, he's the only one left outside. <laughs> There's only him, and he's a Wolverhampton Wanderers fan. He's loving it, he's having a great time. He's having a great time, he's yeah. loving it. He just likes the colours. We've got seven minutes of added time. No way. Seven minutes. So it looks like I'm going back out there, guys. Listen, I'm, ta I'm taking this one underneath my wing. He is now. He is now a West Brom fan. You'll be Cruise Twelve. Yeah. Right, guys, I am signing out now. Peace. Caught me. Caught me, didn't you? Then. Oh yeah. Caught me. Good morning. Um, is it a good morning? Oh, good afternoon. Is it a good afternoon? All right, then just hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Lee. how are we? Um, busy day, got a lot to do. A bit like yesterday. And yeah, join me shortly. <laughs> it looks horrendous, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It, it looks actually, so nice. It actually looks that bad. I got what? excited because I won. <laughs> so I was jumping up and down like, yes, yes. But then I'm thinking about it, I'm like, ah. Oh. It's catching a lot of eyes though. Oh, look. You can see every single person is stopping and looking at the car. I'll tell you what would be really cool. If we got people's reactions. Don't know. <laughs> we actually went down and asked them, guys, what do you think of the colour of this car? We could do that. Live. Yeah, that would yeah. be pretty cool, and I think some of the comments would shock you. Also, I think when you see the colour in person, the actual colour 
it doesn't look like the colour that's on photos, does it? No. Um, Tommy's at a meeting and we need to go through where you can see what everybody's doing there. We've got a lot to go through. Um, oh, there he no. is. No. No. Do you think Tom will get married? Do you think Amber and Tom will get married? Yes. Amber, yeah. comment below. Do you think, because he looked like he was getting married in that suit then. That was like a, he looked like wedding material then, did you see? <laughs> yeah. So it just came to my head. Um, I'm getting married June the 1st. Hey. June the 1st. Thank you, Ayush. June the 1st. I'm getting married. Um, I'm excited about it. Can't wait. We're going to have a look at the venue, I think, next week as well. So you guys will see that. Um, you just saw all of last night's happenings at the game. Um, it was a great game. Really enjoyed it. How are you? I'm oh, good. Good morning. Good morning. Here comes the groom. Here comes the groom. I just said you look like wedding material today. I am. I'm marriage material. I didn't say marriage. I said wedding <laughs> material. He's called a marriage. We've actually just asked Amber if you two are going to get married and we've asked her to comment below. Stuck on you. Causing me trouble for? We are getting married. We're getting married on the little one. Good morning. Why did you just change the narrative then? <laughs> it was like, why are you causing me trouble? We are getting married. <laughs> so you got that rush right there. How was the meeting? Yeah, yeah, great, great. Awesome? Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Really good? Yeah, yeah. Is he someone I want to work with in the future? Yeah, definitely. He's a great one. He is? Yeah. Okay, that's really good. Um, did uh, a new member of the circle join again today? Yeah. Are we just getting new members consistently? Is it just not every day there's new yes, members? There's two, yeah, three yesterday. <sighs> Property circle is growing. It's outrageous. Um, guys, say again? A lucky car. It's not a lucky car. It's not a lucky car. It's a turdy. Someone called it a Lamborghini turdis. Hmm. Um, so yeah. Guys, catch me in a second because I'll go through some stuff again. Okay? clue who they are. Telling me that this house they sold for X amount of money for this same person a few months ago. And she seems to be a woman that just messes everybody about. And there is no way in the world that this, com this sale's going to complete. She's going to pull the plug at the last minute because she's done it numerous well, times. Well, well she, she can't on an auction contract. I understand that, but apparently she's done it on an auction contract before. Um, now, I don't know this person. I don't know the person we're buying the house off. Um, so I don't know whether it's a lot of made up rumours or anything, but... I would be very surprised. Okay. I would be very, very surprised. Um, perfectly sensible people that do it very well. Okay. Um, and she's very, uh, dubious about online things and everything because she's been done online by somebody. Oh, okay. Um, and... I'd be very surprised. Okay, okay, that's fine. So once we've paid this money, so obviously I bought a lot of properties at auction. Um, I know yeah. she's under contract. Um, so yeah, I'll, as long as you're under contract with her and she can't pull out the sale, I'm, I'm happy to make the payment today. I put it on social media yesterday on um, that we viewed this property and that we'd secured it. Um, right. And like I said, I'm happy to pay the money right now within the next 10 minutes, but the phone call was a little bit concerning because it wasn't a malicious phone call. It was more like, we've done this for her in the past. So has other agents done this for her in the past. And she's pulled out of numerous deals on the same property. And she'd also sold this property for £20,000 more only a, a couple of months ago. And she pulled the plug the day before completion. Um, so it was just a little bit worrying, that's all. Yeah, she told me Prior, yeah. But Dave pulled her. Let me just speak to the MD, Stephen. Yeah, if you could, it's just. Tom's number. Thank you. I'll give Tom a call back in a few minutes. All right, you're right. a star. Thank you very much for your help. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So what's happened, guys, is um, we've won a property at auction, and I've got to make a payment to seventeen thousand yeah. pound today, um, which I'm happy to make because I want the property. But I've had a phone call from someone saying that the the lady who's selling the house um, has messed a lot of people about in the past. So, yeah, I just, um, I mean, we'll get our refund. There's no issues for that. We'll get a refund. We won't lose the money. It can't just disappear into thin air. And the agents will obviously refund their, their fee as well for the auction. Um, but I just don't want to go a six-week journey where I've paid solicitors, I've paid searches and stuff, and then we lose that kind of money because she's 
going to pull out. So maybe if I get my, um, maybe if I get exchange of contracts done when I pay the money. So if we do it in four days, do the exchange of contracts on that day and completion set for an expedite searches. Maybe that safeguards us. Um, yeah. I mean, guys, it's a lot of money and it's not a lot of money in the grand scheme of things. So it's two thousand pounds for our solicitors, which is a lot of money. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot of money. So understand what I'm trying to say. But nobody wants to lose two thousand pounds. I don't want to lose two thousand pounds. So yeah, um, let's see what they come back with in a moment. Chocolate, guys, and feeling okay actually. And Liz has actually got me these today. So let's see. Is that your food? I can smell all the food out the box. Yeah, that's mine, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't know, huh? This is. Oh, is it? Who had satay chicken? There was a random one, so there's, there should be. These should all be the same. Yeah, you got meal preps. Yeah, grilled oh. piri piri chicken breast with rice and matcha peas. Now, I've never eaten matcha peas in my life. I don't know whether I'm going to like them, but I can smell food, and I don't know whether it's your food I can smell, or is it this? They're local, these lines. Are they? Yeah. It was mangan. Wow. Did they give you a spoon? No, I got my own spoons and stuff. Another delivery. Ice. ice. Thank you. They come with ice. Thanks. Fresh. So, um, what do matcha peas taste like? Just peas, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're just What color are they? Green. Yeah, they're good. Lions. Awesome. Lions, they're local. Let's go from Warsaw. Alright, yeah. yeah guys, we'll keep you updated on whether that's any good. We'll do a taste test. Um, keep you updated on the house, keep you updated on that, keep you updated on life, keep you updated on what's going on. And right now I'm going to keep him updated on why he's just Tom. <laughs> See you in a bit. Bye bye. Bye bye. So that's um that's a very good um a very good guy, a genuinely a nice human being. Um he's got a Lamborghini Urus and he I think his service was pretty bad to be fair. I think the way they treated him and stuff wasn't good. Um but again, um that's between them and them, that's not my problem. Um but he wants a Range Rover like the one we have. Um, and he's like, Steve, I don't really want to go into Land Rover, not know anybody there, and be treated, you know, as if like, I'm just, yeah, whatever. So I'm gonna make a call now to my friends at Range Rover, get him in there to get his new one. He wants to order a brand new one, actually. He doesn't want a second hand one. He wants to order a brand new one. And then he's looking at changing, I think, I don't know if he's changing the Euros for a G-Wagon or is he keeping the Euros and getting a G-Wagon as well. I don't know. But um, great position to be in. If he can do things like that, fair play to him. He's in property. He's a very, very nice human being, doing extremely well on social media. Um, I don't know whether he'll want me to plug him, but if he does, once he watches this tonight, I will put him in tomorrow just in case. I didn't ask him then. Um, but yeah, so that's the car he's got now. That's the car he's going to buy. And this is a car that I think he's going to get as well. So there's all the cars. Um, it's kind of following in the same footsteps as, as what we do with cars. He loves cars. He's a big car um, enthusiast. Guys, Felipe, yes. show them my setup, please. Show them. I, ha I, I now have my own desk. I am back in the building. I used to be at the conference table all the time. Now I have my own space. I have my own drawers where I can put my documents. My printer's there. Ayush, do what you do, Ayush. So I'm confident, back in, back in the building. When I say confident, I'm not confident as in my ability. I'm confident that I might stay here. That's what I mean by confident. 
Lizzie's walking in. I wonder what she's doing. Is she going to come in? Yeah, yeah. I heard my name. Oh, okay. We just said that you walk back in. Hi. So, yeah. Um, what do I want to talk to you about now? That that phone call is quite important. So, we showed you the house yesterday, and we have secured the house now. So, I'm going to try and pull it up on my computer so you guys can see it. That is the property that we bought yesterday. Now, a lot of you are going to say, Stay. why did you buy it? You're not buying houses, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. Um, I explained yesterday that I think we're at the bottom, personally, opinion. Opinion, please don't go on social media saying Steve said it's the bottom. No, no, Steve's opinion is I think we're there. I'm very good at what I do with HMOs, self contained units, bed sits, um, making money on properties like this. I'm very good at it. So now I'm scaling it up to where I'm buying like a lot. A lot. I'm not going to give you the figures yet because I want to prove it with, with a, a six month track record. But I'm buying a lot of stuff. So anything that I can get my hands on right now that is below market value, whatever the hell that means in this world, whether it's at the price that I want to pay, that's what it is. Um, I'm buying and it's really cool. So this one's really cool, it was on an auction. Um, if you want a joint venture with me on this property, this exact one, there's a link in the description to, um, below to fill your name and details out. Um, it's there, the opportunity's there. I have a massive, massive joint venture waiting list. I want a joint venture with everybody. I want to see how it works, who's who, what's what. Um, so that one's available right now. Newsflash, it's there for you. But I have a collaboration coming up and it's a collaboration that I don't think a lot of people would necessarily think I would do. It's a social media collaboration. Um, it's with somebody else in property. I'm not going to give too much information away right now. Um, I'm actually going to show Phil the, 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 the messages. <coughs> and then we're going to get Phil's reaction to it without, them, without him saying the name. Okay, so Phil, put the camera at the floor, please. Read the comment, the messages, sorry, not the comments. Alright, cool. Okay, so let's go. Felipe, you've just read my messages. Yep. What do you think to that collaboration down? This is honest opinion because we've not named them. Yep. We've not said who it is. Yep. We've not said anything at all. Yep. What's your initial thoughts? Um... Let's just say a lot of eyes will be on you with this collaboration. Okay. And I mean, when I say a lot, I mean a lot of eyes. Okay, so do you think it's good or do you think it could be detrimental to the brand? A bit of both. Okay. I'll be honest. Is no, no, both? this is what I want. You're my okay, team. Oh yeah, if you was a yes man, you wouldn't yeah. be standing here. Yeah, a bit of both. A bit of both, yeah. Okay. So, that's in the pipeline. I'm, I'm actually... Looking forward to it. I am actually looking forward to it. I think it'd be a really cool collaboration, and it'll show um, just show a whole different light, in my opinion. Like I said, I need to bring the property world back together again, like I used to when I first started. None of this he said, she said, they said stuff. I want to bring us all to see how good we are actually at what we do. Who is good and who isn't good. So. Yeah, I'm happy about the collaboration. Obviously, my Isabella's happy about the collaboration as well. Um, but yeah, so go back to this, guys. The property. Um, it was on auction for 110 guide. They did a deal um, where it was £157,000. It, um, it got bought for. And then the deal fell out of bed. True story. This house here, there, I used to go to that house every morning for about four years of my life because I used to walk to my school and that was my friend's house called Alan and we used to walk to school obviously together. So for four years of my life, that house which is opposite this house, I used to go and wait for Alan to get ready basically. I know the area well, I own a lot around there, literally on that same street as well. So yeah, no article 4 in that area, 
when I say HMR, I mean self-contained units. I'll put self-contained units in there. Good day so far. Tom is out on a meeting. I have a couple of faces that you're going to be familiar with coming in. And I'm also going to run through um, a breakdown of a loan, a uh, bridging loan that I'm taking out today on a property that I'm completing on next week. So I have all the documents signed, everything. It's just literally about to be signed off by my solicitors. And I'll give you the figures of how it works. We have Richard Tunney sitting behind that glass. He's just there. I don't know whether you can get a shot of him or if you can see him or if there's any way of getting him in the picture. Yeah. Um, Working hard. He's probably one of the hardest workers I know. Which is genuinely that good. I know we have a lot of banter with him, but he's genuinely that good. So I'm out on the road as well tomorrow. I have a whole day on the road, which feels like I don't know whether he's happy or whether he's. Yeah, uh, we are. You happy? The viewers love it on the road stuff as well. On the road content, sorry, not on stuff. On the road content. Yes. Okay, we're on the road tomorrow. So we have had a response from Wolverhampton Council about some planning applications that we have put in for change of use from C3 to C2. Now, Phil, can you put a description of what C3 and C2 is up on the screen so people can explain it, uh, see it, and then I might do an in-depth thing with you later on because I'm, I've got a meeting in like two minutes. Um, we put two applications in and a lovely lady from Wolverhampton Council Planning Officer, she is, has said, um, they've assessed both the proposals. Um, there's likely to be significant harm caused by the intensity of the C2 care institution within these residential areas. There is also um, some information we would like you to submit following um, this email and that will accompany the applications uh, about the day-to-day -day running of the homes which will be necessary when engaging with key consultant, uh, consultees. Um, our experience um, of how these homes would suggest that rear parking lane would be not be appropriate um, and the certain bits and pieces. We did invite to consider alternative proposals to subdivide um, and we're free to put a pre-app in uh, and we can review, which is a good news because yep. they're, they're saying well, she's put her, but the way I read it is she's put her opinion. Guys, can I just say that this is two applications for care homes, children's care homes. Um, so they're not throwing it out. They've not said, nope, it's not happening. They're happy to discuss it further. Um, and they basically want to meet up with us to see what we want to do. Um, and how have you read it? Because that's so the, the first the one. I've, I've read that live now. So, so the way I've read it, I've read it, there's three, there's three separate parts to it. There's the lady's opinion, then there's what she wants. And then there's the little bit at the end about parking that's up for debate. It's about surveillance. We can put some cameras up on the back of the house. Everybody's safe and secure. So the, there's three parts to it. So, and I'm happy with that. Obviously, you've got your meeting next week with, with your, your person from Wolverhampton. Um, I've got a, these documents to submit over. Yeah, it's good. I think that's I'm, good news. I'm pretty confident that we're going to get these through. Yeah. I'm pretty confident we're going to get these through. From that, see... Knowing how the planning works, you don't see a lot of what I do with the planning side of things, which again, um, it would be great if you could get more of this onto the daily fill um, when I get these kind of emails and stuff like that. That's not a no. If the council didn't want it, it would be your planning um, submission has been rejected. That's what it would be. Outright, done, dusted, no conversations. You can appeal if you would like to. This is kind of like, hmm, I'm interested. They're giving us what we want in the area, but let's have a meeting yeah. that's what that is and it's clear as day i can see it clear as day so i'm in a very 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 happy mood right now i'm i'm, I'm really happy i'm really confident i was confident anyway otherwise you, we wouldn't have submitted them um you did all the research on it to know that for a fact that and two houses would get through yeah. um I mean, if you think about it logically every single children's residential care home is on a residential street and it is the same yeah it's a big house on a resi street so we're not actually doing anything different to normal. You know, we're not converting a pub. They just basically want. want to see that we know what we're doing. They want to meet us to see who we are. And they will have a criteria of the type of person that they want to give the the, up, the, the thumbs up to. So yeah, so very happy about that. Um, guys, quickly, because my meeting is literally, I think they're here. Taking out a bridge, um, I got offered, I think I needed... £425,000, I think that's what I needed. And all my fees and everything to set it all up have come in at about £1,800. Solicitor's fees are coming at £2,200 because it's a bridge. Basically, my monthly payments are working out to about 0.95%. So it's just under 
Well, it's about £4,000 a month. So, and I've took that bridge out for 18 months, guys, on a, on a property that I complete on hopefully Friday or next Friday. I don't know the actual date. Um, and then we also have another one here which has just come through. I have the heads of terms actually attached. Give me a second, where is the attachment? This one, I need funding of 143,058 pound. The deposit's going to be around 80K circa, and then obviously it's stamp duty and legal fees. Um, the modernization of this property is gonna cost me 100K, um, and then we'll get it valued up to around, I should make about 140,000 pound on this property. That's in front of me, yeah? Very simple, great day, everything's good. So I need the PDF created for this. I need it in the format that I've set it. I yep. need all of the costs and everything in there. I need um, the floor plans, what I'm going to do with it, the term of the joint venture, the return of the joint venture, every single thing needs to be put on there. Then I need the form building for the CRM system in order to capture the data to send the PDF out to. Yep. But the PDF has to go in branding mm -hmm. and literally this has to be done by the end of today. Yeah. And the so. reel has to be shot. So you can actually, what you should do, you should look at this now yeah. and you should put these pictures in the background. On the TVs. On the TVs yeah. or overlap my conversation. You need to decide which yeah, one you okay. want to do. Mm. Okay. Um, is that okay? Everyone's yeah. alright with that? Sir? Yeah, that's fine. I know it's been thrown on you at the sh last notice, but I've got it. Thank so, God. Throw. Yeah. Um, guys, joint venture opportunity available. Form is below. Fill it out. The boys in the building. Boys are back in the building. It's um, been a long time. It's been a long time. Who was here last week? Yeah, I was. Got him? This one here? We're in back. <clears throat> Don't worry. We'll see. We'll see what he's going to do. Is he going to be back? Is he not back? Is he got one foot in? Has he got one foot out? Was he ever here? Was he ever here? So many questions. So many questions with no answers. We're going to get the answers today. Um, has he fell in love? Is he going to piss all his money up the wall? <laughs> Is he going to implement anything we've taught him? It feels like a therapy session. <laughs> Let's get a couch. Um, mentoring session is about to commence with the boys. Um, I have a lot of questions and we'll see what the answers are. It's going to be intriguing. That's what it is. Even Rocky's laughing. Where are we? Tree. My jacket's in, my trainers are in, come to collect them. Well, the jacket is not I've come to collect, the jacket is I've come to try on, the trainers I've come to collect. And I've got a funny feeling that Rocky might buy something as well. No. <laughs> Unless he's buying it for me. <laughs> cool. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Actually, that's nice. Nice taste, no. What do you mean, no? <laughs> <laughs> Where do we have a... Further side is too big. I do like it though. I think it's too big. See the arms? Yeah, the arms. <laughs> Give me a size down. Do you have a size down? Can I try it, please? That's <laughs> we have a size down? He's actually gone two sizes down oh, to the 52. This is the 48. Not um, bad. Does the hood attached somewhere else? I don't know how I feel about it. Thoughts, Phil? It's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. The arms are perfect as well, aren't they? Took the hood off. Now I feel like... But then it feels like this. Am I losing my head? <laughs> There's no winning. <laughs> Put on the hood off. Put the hood off. Yeah, I like that. Like that. <laughs> um, I'm not convinced. Trying the collection. Not sure about the jacket. Gotta go back and do some work though. Everyone's handing me. We 
We're actually filming in LV today. Yeah, I well, know. We're not allowed to film in LV usually, are we? Look You've at me. Phone. Look, yeah, you look, can I take a picture of you? You've got no security guards giving you grief. We know, no we know the you. ways now. We know the ways. You no know one's bothering you. You're all under control. Yeah. Are you happy? I'm not gassed. You've got a right smile on your face. Yeah, I'm gassed. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs>